hi guys welcome back to my channel today we will be making my CMOS hyaluronic serum so with that we are going to start with my distilled water which is already weighed out in the beaker to this we are going to just add in some allantoin So with the allantoin, I'm going to add this in first and heat up the water. Um, allantoin can be quite difficult to dissolve in water when it's cold. I have an easier time doing it when the water has been heated. So we're going to do that and once it's cooled down enough, we will add in our other ingredients. So I will be back once this has blended in and dispersed. Hi, so we are back. The Allantoin has fully dissolved into the water. Um, the temperature at the moment is 45 degrees. So I think that's good enough for me to add in the panthenol. Still warm enough that it should disperse quickly and give us more of that goodness. trying to get out every last drop <laughs> possible sorry about all the background noise um, the neighbors kids are outside playing so you're gonna hear that a little bit so just gonna give it a stir help it just Make sure that it clears up in the water. Pamphenol isn't as bad as allantoin to dissolve in water. Um, it doesn't need to be heated, but giving it a quick little stir while you've got it in the water does help it disperse a lot quicker. And as you can see, the water went from white, well, from clear to cloudy. Right, so it's starting to clear up a bit more, so that shows you that the panthenol started to dissolve into the water, which is fantastic. Um, that also means that there's not going to be any like crystals in the uh, item as well. Because there's nothing worse than using a serum and then finding out that you've got all these little bits in there. It's uh, highly irritating. And you've still got some powder here. Hi guys, sorry, I had to pause at a moment. Someone was at the door. Okay, so now that we have dissolved that, we're going to just add in some of our fruit extract. So first off, we have our Akai liquid fruit extract. These will have great benefits for your skin. They will be listed on the screen below. We also have our raspberry liquid fruit extract. Just mix that in. Some hydrolyzed collagen. So you can already see the water start to change colour a little bit. That is down to the collagen, but you will see once I add in the CMOS gel, it's going to change colour even more. Alright, so. Here is our lovely sea wash gel. If 
kind of float it at the top. All right, so I'm going to use the spatula and try and mix in as much as possible. And there we have our lovely cloudy color that you see we have in the bottles. So as you can see, it is naturally colored from the sea moss. Um, there are different sea mosses out there. You can get the standard one, which looks like a tan color. There's also a purple sea moss. Um, I do have that one, but I've had more difficulty making a purple sea moss into a gel than I have this one. I'm not taught not too sure why i'm literally using the same method but it just likes to be annoying okay so i do want to add in the hyaluronic acid um i am going to blend it in because i do find that when i just leave it to sit it clumps up a lot and i find that it blends in a lot better when it's mixed in however this is this beaker is a bit too small yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch out the beaker for a jug um, just so that I can mix in the hyaluronic acid and not worry about it spilling everywhere. Um, don't mind the condition of the jug. Um, I did use it at one point to try and make soap a very long time ago and it kind of just scraped out a little bit. All right. So, we are now going to add in our hyaluronic acid. So this acid is 1000 KDA. Um, I can't remember if it's high or low molecular weight i believe it's high but you know sometimes these systems can be a bit funny when it comes to the numbers and what's actually the highest and lowest but hey it gels that's what matters all right so i'm going to just use a little handheld mixer um i'm using the whisk attachment to blend it in Okay, so a lot of people is probably going to comment about me doing this because you're not really supposed to blend in the hyaluronic acid when making any kind of serums. The usual advice is to let it sit for a couple of hours. Um, some people will come in and stir it occasionally just to break up the big bits. I'm a little impatient. It's bad enough that I've got to wait for this bubble to settle, but compared to what it would have been like before a lot less is in there because there was a good amount it's one percent of hyaluronic acid that goes into whatever product you're making you don't want to use more than that um near enough every site i've gone on it's usually one percent to 1.5 i don't see a lot of the 1.5 i've only recently seen anyone say that you can use up to 1.5 of hyaluronic acid in there but again i don't know what molecular weight that is so it could just be the lower the weight the higher the percentage but like i said 100 um, one gram or one percent of your final product is usually the best way to go that is the max if you want a thinner product obviously use a bit less but it's all down to you um i will check back in with you guys once the foam has gone down and we will see what we have once the powder has gelified see you in a moment hi guys i'm back so i 
did lose some of the footage. Um, I didn't realise that I wasn't recording when I filled up some of the bottles. So I already have four bottles already filled up. Um, I still have some serum left in my jug. So I will just pour in some more into this one. Now this one is also cleaned and sanitised as well. And as I was saying in the lost footage, you don't want to fill up the bottles all the way because obviously when you add in the pipette, it is actually going to take up some space as well. Um, this one I think I might have added in a bit too much. But this is what we have so far. Now with the Seymour serums, the colours may differ slightly. Um, you do find that a lot when you're doing any handmade products. If it's not made in the factory, it is also down to just the quality of the ingredients. Obviously, when you're getting a CMOS, no, C no one CMOS is, or no two CMOS is going to be the same, I should say. So there is going to be some slight colour variations, but it is all the same ingredients, the same measurements and you will get the exact same benefits. Um, I will label these up and we will be right back. Right, and there you have it guys. Two CMOS Hyaluronic Face Serums already made up, bottled, packaged and ready to go. So these will be available on my website. Um, the link will be down below in the description box. They are a great serum. Um, the best way to use these is use them on damp skin. And <laughs> yeah, the best way to use ah, the best way to use these serums is to use it on damp skin. So after you've already washed your face, just apply a couple of droplets of the serum. Uh, massage it in leave it to dry and then follow up with your moisturizer this serum is good if you suffer with acne um, CMOS helps to regulate the sebum production in your skin which contribute which contributes to acne and breakouts it also helps with moisturization so if you suffer with dry skin as well the ingredients that are in this will help in targeting dry skin and offering you know smooth moisturized soft skin um, there'll be more details about what it offers on the website please have a look purchase and don't forget to leave feedback um, like comment and subscribe thank you goodbye <laughs>